there's the liberation dimension, which could be called the freedom from the mind body or in these very advanced states, the ability to abide at the source sort of 24 seven. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the liberation aspect. And then there's the behavior aspect. Okay, how do you carry yourself in the world? Mm. Um, how effectively do you serve your fellow beings? Um, and um, what do the people close to you ha uh, have to say about how you conduct yourself and so forth? Yeah. Now, I, I know individuals that pretty much abide 24 seven in what you're describing whose behavior is despicable. Mm -hmm. So in my way of thinking, there's an important dimension of enlightenment that they're not, they're not developing. And in fact, their freedom is allowing them to not have to develop that dimension. Good point. Like they're take, uh, so, taking refuge in that, in that freedom and perhaps even in the notion that the world is an illusion and I can do with it what I will. You know, it doesn't matter if I sleep with my disciple's wife because all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, you know. Um, and what's, what's important to realize about that is it's not in that perception is not entirely bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm. They really, you have to be really deep. I mean, you can be a psychopath, okay, and believe that. <laughs> but uh, these people that are that way, they have deep, deep liberation dimension. Let's not, you know, it's not, they're not just bullshitting, but how they, how they have inter chose to interpret it and manifest it in the world is just plain wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're saying this. I, I agree. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. There's a behavioral dimension to this that is... In related to your liberation, but not the same thing. Your liberation should be the place that allows you to optimize how you carry yourself in the world as a person and to optimize your ability to serve others. Mm. That's, that's the use of your liberation. Yeah. Um, and if it's not that, then, well, you just have some of the dimensions of enlightenment, but not others. Furthermore, even the liberation dimension, okay. So you know that I have training in the sciences, and so I would tend to think of, um, I tend to think of the way a, a physicist or a mathematician thinks. So, P, okay, there's a, a quantity called C. It's in our current known physics, the, uh, the, uh, no, nothing can uh, be accelerated beyond C. Speed which of is light? The speed of light, okay. that's right. So there's sort of an absolute, okay, um, uh, uh, physical constant called mm -hmm. C. So we can call, um, so then any other, any other speed is less than C. So there's a, there's a cap on C. So people like to talk about, okay, well, there's a cap on, um, there's a cap on lib liberation, okay? It's like, so uh, that may be, that may be the case. Um, however, if there's a cap, then it's gotta be the cap, okay? So if we take the dimension, uh, now, so I'm saying that enlightenment has many dimensions and the uh, breaking of the identification with the mind body is just one of those dimensions. Mm -hmm. Behavior is another one, okay? Um, but let's just look at the one dimension called the breaking of the identity with the small identity, okay? Let's just look at that. Let's just tease out that one dimension. And let us, let us say that there is theoretically an ultimate to that then that means that's going to be the ultimate to that. That means no matter what happens to your mind and body, there's no suffering whatsoever. Now, let's just think of the consequences of what that would mean. It would mean Christ didn't suffer, for one. Uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But remember, he experienced pain. Right. And I don't think it was, if we take, sort of the 
archetypal view of Christ. I don't think it was just the pain of nails for a few hours. I think it's from a Christian point of view, perhaps all the pain of all the sin of all beings right. in all conceivable worlds. That's a little bigger pain, okay? <laughs> but um, so I would caution anyone who likes to think of themselves as having reached the ultimate of liberation. Um, I, I don't have a way of testing that. Remembering that liberation, breaking of the mind-body identity, is just one dimension of enlightenment as I'm choosing to use the well, E word. Here. Well, here's one way of testing it. I, I heard you give a talk about um, maintaining awareness 24 seven, including during sleep. And uh, just the other day, the discussion came up about this and I pulled out a, a file I have of quotes from all sorts of well-known spiritual teachers and saints from throughout history. And, the, and, and you, you quoted in your talk, the Song of Solomon, which says, I sleep though my heart waketh. So, if you lose consciousness during sleep, not, not waking consciousness, that's gone because you're asleep, but pure consciousness, then you haven't reached that certain stage of development. So that, that, would, might, that, that, might, that might be a litmus test, and there might be neurological well, correlates to that, which you know, would be distinct, distinctive. The, the, and, problem, yeah. the problem, though, is all of, all of the, these tests don't prove you've reached the ultimate. They prove you haven't reached the ultimate. These are all exclusionary tests. If you can't do this... Well, I'm not saying that, that that stage of development would be ultimate. I'm just saying it might be a milestone. I think it is. It's a good milestone. The point I'm making is um, that I don't know of any way to confirm if people have reached the ultimate in liberation. Yeah. Uh, um, but I know many, many easy tests to confirm that you haven't. Mm -hmm. So the exclusionary tests are easy. And if there's an absolute, then there's an absolute. So what that means is, here's the thought experiment. Um, you have to imagine that we um, turn you over for six months or so to uh, professional torturers in Damascus. And can they make you suffer in that six months at all? with anything. Hmm. Understanding that we're talking about the proverbial blowtorch and pair of pliers uh, or, you know, 24-7 waterboarding or whatever. Well, if, how if about that? If... Well, Donna, don't interrupt me. If uh, okay. that is a cause of any fear, <laughs> any suffering whatsoever, if that isn't just the same as tea with the queen, then you haven't reached the, whatever the ultimate in liberation 